Hi everybody, this is a mad laser tutorial and in this one we're going to learn all the different options that you have to fiddle and manipulate your laser projector. So for this I go to the output tab. You can see I have this laser output projector. First thing to note is that my destination is a Shonet device. Uh, this also works with Etherdream and Helios and FB4. Right here you can you can select uh, uh, your laser hardware just like you would for a video projector. The output size is not very needed. Uh, what is important is the ratio. Usually laser shoot uh, a square. So this is a square. I can manipulate it uh, like this. Uh, I can uh, change its ratio though I don't know if that's uh, really needed uh, in most of the situation. Uh, let me go back to the original like this. Uh, and then what one really important parameter is the PPS parameter of your device. So this is different for all the device. It's the point per second uh, that uh, your scanner is available and allowed to do. So most of the scanners are 30k PPS, 30,000 PPS. Uh, the laser I'm using, I guess, is 45k, but for this tutorial, I could just leave it to 30k. Uh, don't pimp it too much because this can harm your laser if it's not uh, supposed to do that. So try to be gentle with uh, uh, this PPS and uh, by default, I think the, the 30k is a great value. Then we have the ILDA part of the uh, generative process because MadMapper is converting uh, vector shapes into ILDA points uh, and the ILDA points are sent to your laser. So there is a desired FPS, desired uh, frame per second, but uh, this FPS is not the FPS of your application. It's the, the FPS that you want to send ILDA frames uh, at which speed. So currently this is my target. I want to send at 60 FPS and I have 30 points per second. So 30 30,000 points per second divided by 60 give me, gives me 500 points. Uh, that's my point budget, my ILDA point budget. So in each frame, 60 times per second, I am allowed to send 500 points. If I'm sending more points, actually, the design will start to flicker a bit. Uh, the laser might start to flicker a bit. So one, what I want to do is I want to make sure that the real FPS, ILDA FPS, is the same as the desired FPS. And if those two numbers match, then this is my budget point uh, that I can use to have uh, smooth graphics and suitable for non-flickering device. Okay, so this and I will show you in some other tutorial how to, to manipulate this number. Anytime I can go there and click show laser projector info and these numbers will be shown here. So right now my ILDA frame per second is 60 and I am sending 500 points uh, to the ILDA system. What you have to know is that this design uh, as less point uh, e e within MadMapper, you see, uh, maybe uh, there's only one point here, one point there, but uh, MadMapper is uh, subdividing this design, this content, uh, into 500 points so that matches uh, the desired uh, FPS. Uh, there's also the safety area parameter, this uh, you know already, you can, you can change your safety area, you can see if it's too small and my design is out of the safety area, then I won't project anything. So I can revert to something uh, more usable. And there is the blanking delay. And the blank delay is the time uh, the laser uh, will spend uh, when it's not outputting graphics. So between the M and the A, for instance, the beam will go there and will be blanked, mean uh, no luminosity sent. And with this blank delay, you, you can pump it up a little bit to make uh, things uh, clearer or or a little bit uh, less flickery. Okay, next parameters is the intensity. So for this, maybe I can show you uh, with a real laser. So this is my, my webcam. I will start my laser, arm the laser. Okay, there is a warning, uh, very important to be always careful and not shoot at your audience. Okay. And now you can see there is my design uh, shown here. And now let's say, 
Uh, yes, this design is a little bit too blue, so I want to change the color, but at the projector level. I, I could change it uh, at my surface level, right, uh, right here, like in any surface. Okay, I could change it here, so I put uh, put less blue for instance but for all the surfaces I, I would have to do the same so sometimes it's more convenient to do it at a projector level so right now I will put some less blue and you can see my design and my output is, is uh, more yellow there, there is less blue okay then there is uh, the min voltage and the max voltage uh, so this is like a threshold for a minimum value to trigger your laser because sometimes uh, the LEDs uh, used for the laser into the projectors they are not uh, calibrated the same way so you, you want to change uh, these settings if, uh, if on low settings, on low intensity uh, the design don't, don't look good okay then there is the time shift because sometimes uh, the leds uh, have a different uh, timing so so here you can uh, change and slightly shift the timing of the the triggering of your leds let me do this i shut down my laser and i disarm because it's making a bit of a noise it's not nice for the video okay so this is the time shift uh, show info, I showed it already. Uh, I can show my safety area and render the mask. And here are the masks. This is very important to show because actually sometimes you want to make sure that your beam won't go in a specific position. Let's say uh, uh, to the position of a camera because you don't want to burn the camera with your laser. So here I can put a mask directly on the projector and I am sure that uh, in any case I won't be able to shoot into that zone and of course I can make uh, more zones uh, just like any other mask uh, in MadMapper. So now I have two positions, two zones where I'm sure that my laser beam won't uh, ever go and uh, cross that zone. So whenever the laser goes there uh, it will be off, off or you can see I can set the opacity of the mask and I can invert the mask just like any other mad mapper mask. Uh, something else is the internal loopback. So what I can do, I can, I can publish an internal loopback. So this design, I, I can get it back here. This is my laser loopback. You can see it's flipped here because my laser was flipped. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm using this loopback maybe for some kind of feedback effect or some uh, enhanced mesh warping. Maybe I, I will show this in another tutorial. Okay, the loopback. And at the end, I can uh, store a ILDA frame, okay, in the ILDA format. So this is just a frame, it's like an image. Uh, actually, this frame is stored in my workspace folder. So if I click there, uh, this should open up a, um, a finder window or explorer, window explorer, and I can grab it here. And you can see it's uh, creating a ILDA movie with just uh, one frame. Okay, and this is my ILDA movie. It's like recording uh, the output of your laser directly for later use. And I can also record a uh, ILDA movie, not just a frame. Uh, ILDA movies are interesting too. Uh, and this movie I can record in two types of different formats, either at fixed frame rate, so this is uh, very good for using with MadMapper, and it will record at your desired FPS. But some, some other playback engines uh, require a different way to, to record. So if one, you want to playback on a show net, for instance, <coughs> you will just uh, record it as a ILDA stream, and I can record my movie. So you see it shows the duration of my record and the frame count. I stop it here and I can go back uh, to the finder and now it's been recorded. You can see my document is 1.5 uh, megabytes uh, and one frame uh, was just 4 kilobytes. So this is uh, my movie. Okay, I think we are good for all the, the settings you can find in the projector and I see you in some other tutorial. Thanks for watching.